My name is Anita Moore, and today I want to paint a little um, project. It's an insert for either a truck or cutting board, and it's called Farm Fresh. And uh, you can find this surface on Roscoe's Innovation. And uh, so it's a, a Highland cow, and I'm super excited to uh, paint this. And so let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is paint these little backgrounds. I want to do like um, a grayish to make it look still, like still. So I'm going to take these off. And what's nice about it, you can see the engraving on those. And we're going to take this one up. Okay. Now the color that I I have here is a uh, gray sky. So we're going to do some light and then add some dark colors and maybe make it look a little rusty. I'm going to just move these guys here. I'll have all the paint supplies and the link of the surface uh, uh, like in the description below. Okay, so the paints that I'm going to be using is Decor Americana. And this one is Gray Sky. And I'm going to use a flat wash brush from uh, uh, Black Gold by Dynasty. So this is a three quarter inch. I'm gonna wet my brush and then I just put the water, excess water on a paper towel. And when I load my brush, I load flat on both sides. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna try not to get my edge. Oh, you know what? I'm painting the wrong side. That's okay. I knew I was painting the wrong side. Let this one dry. And then I'll just paint the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to just go from the center to the edge there. A little bit more paint. I like to do long, even uh, brush strokes when I, I base coat. And it's okay if it's not very um, thick color because we're going to add other color as well. Okay, I need more color. Just take my time when I get to the edge, just so I don't. You can paint them if, if you want, but I like leaving it the, uh, the natural wood. One more paint over here. Okay, I'll do this one. Okay, and I'll do this side. <laughs> And you can paint the back as well, but you're not going to see it when, when it's on the truck or the um, the breadboard. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to dry this and then we'll add uh, the other color. So I want to add, um, I have here uh, Gray Storm and uh, for the rest, this is uh, Red Spice. A big little paint here. Do is I had paint on my finger when I touched it. 
So I'm just gonna wipe my fingers. Okay. I'm just gonna wipe this right here. While it's wet, you can wipe it off right away. Okay. Wipe the paint off my fingers here. Okay. I'm gonna put a gray storm on my palette. And I'm also gonna put um the red spice and I'm gonna make it look like um like old and rusty. Um, and I'm going to show you a little technique for this one. So if you take a, a little dauber, a little sponge dauber, what you can do is um, you can pick up um, like a little bit at the tip there, not blobs, just a little bit. Okay, we're going to start with this one here and just add some dabs. And then we can do these uh, nails. They look like little nails. Uh, we can do those black. I'm just picking up a little bit of paint at a time. More gray along the edge. And a good thing about this too, like say you had too much of the same color, go back and pick up some of the um the original base coat color. Okay, now I'm gonna just uh pick up the the red spice, okay? And I kept my brush dirty. So we got some rust over here. And it's nice when it mixes up with the gray while it's wet. Just keep pouncing. Mix the two colors together. Okay, like right here, like I found too much, I got too much here. I'm just gonna pick up the original color and just uh, blend it in a little bit. Then you'll have a different little tone. So just pick up uh, the, the three out of the three colors here and there, mix them all together. No color. Or we put some a little bit right there. So when I have my letters on here, it'll look pretty cool. Put more dark gray here and there. Okay, I think that looks all right. 
Okay, I'm going to do the same for this one. I might pick up the original color just to, so that it's more blendable to mix these other colors with it. Okay, I've got to top up my paint here. Some orange. Okay, and then I might pick up a little bit more of the original color there, just and then blend them all in. Okay, I need to. Don't worry about the middle section because the, the little cow will be there. Get some orange. Okay, now I'm going to just put a little bit of the original color in there just to line it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm done with this. It's off my little sponge brush. Okay, I'm going to dry this off. Okay, I'm going to take that um, the gray storm. I'm going to take a, um, a liner, and this is a 3 8. It's a full squirrel. Actually, it's a round, it's not a liner. What I'm going to do is pick up this color here, and um, you can follow the lines, and it doesn't have to be straight, just to make it look like it's divided in here um what else you can see it better when you um you have it a little bit tilted oh, there's one right here but i probably won't see that since the letter will be there there's one here Okay, and then I'll show you a trick. If the line isn't straight, just take a wet brush and just rub it along the edge there. Clean that off. You can see the line, so just follow it. Darker. And I'll just take my brush. I have one here, but you might not see it with the letter there. 
Well, always make sure you don't put your hand on the wet paint. So it doesn't have to be like a full solid color, making it look a little old. Well, I have a one over here. I got it. Okay. Now for the, um, there's little dots. You can do the same color for that. There's one right here. All the dots because I'm not sure how the letters are gonna go on there. I think I got my dots. So there's like sets of four on each little, little lines. No one looks like it works. I'm going to paint the letters black or white. I think white might pop up a little bit more. Or I can always use the uh, gray sky to do the lettering. Okay. Well, this seems to be okay. They're dry. Um, just want to see what this is going to look like. Okay, we're going to go with light color. And I want to sand that a little bit. So I have a sanding pad, and this is a fine. Okay, I'm just going to move my letters for a sec. So sand the edges a little bit. Put this one down, make it look a little older. It's not so dark. Okay, I'll do the same for this. I'm sitting on the edge. And this one too. Okay, and I'm just gonna move this, remove some of the dust here. Okay. Swipe some of the test. Okay. Now I'm going to paint um, the letters with uh, the gray. Welcome and move. Okay. We're going to use, I'm going to use gray sky. You can use white or any um, color of your choice. And I'm gonna um, 
use a dauber. I just want to show you what um, it looks like when you're using this to uh, to base coat letters. So you just load, but always make sure it's not big blobs because you still don't want it on come through on the other sides. So this is my first time trying daubers. I don't know if I like it. So you use a pouncing method. So again, don't pick up too much paint, just a little bit at a time. You know what? It's nice if it's not fully um, coated, the base coat. You can probably even add a little bit of um, orange to it. Um, too much because background has a lot of orange. So I think that'll look really good. Let me just see before I continue. So it, it will pop up the white or the gray, I mean, very nice. I just kept my brush dirty and I just picked up a little bit of orange here and there. No, I'm not sure how the oh, it goes this way. I will have um, my decor helping artists. So there'll be a coupon code for the decor website. It'll give you a discount on your shopping cart. Um, so if you, you add that, you can save. Um, it does not ship to Canada, only the US. So this one is done. Make this just a little darker. A little bit more. Oops. You can also tape these on. Um, I put the letters on a piece of tape, scotch tape, a painter's tape to hold them in place. And not 
make a little bit darker orange. Now I'm done with the gray. Now I check these two dirty. I want to check what um these letters would look like on here. So that's what that would look. Okay, we're gonna dry those off. Put this aside. I'm gonna dry my letters off. Okay, now we're going to switch spots. Okay, now I'm going to start with the, like over here, just so I don't mess up my pieces here. Okay, the milk can, I was going to do this one white, which is uh, snow white. There's different types of white uh, that you can use. Okay, now I'm just going to use my flat washer and load it up and I'm just taking my time along the edge so I don't get too much paint. Oops. I need to see what I'm painting. Okay. I'm painting, I like to go in one direction. So it's either up or down or sideways. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna add some color to that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put uh, this guy here. I'm going to put this at the, hmm. I'm going to put the letters black. I don't know if I, if I did gray, that would, um, that would pop up too much. I might do it brown. I'm going to use a sculptum to make it like a little breadboard. Okay. I'll make this a little bit uh, like watered down. I don't want it too thick. You can use a baby wipe for this method. There, that's all I want is to make it a little light. And then I'm gonna sand it, but I'll let it dry first. And then the letters. I might have to make it this white now because I used a dark. When you do a dark background, always use light uh, letters or vice versa. If you're using light colors, use dark colors for your words. That way um, your letters will always pop out. Um, okay, I'm gonna use white. So I'm gonna use my um, little foam brush. So I wet it and then uh, you just take a paper towel and just 
you know, squeeze all the excess water. And when you're uh, loading these, pick up flat, the paint flat. I don't overload with paint. And then I'm gonna just hold on to this. And so this one here, I prefer this method over the sponge. It's nice and clean. There. Rinse that off. Okay, I'll let that dry. And I'm going to sand this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sand this a little bit. On the edge. There, like that. And I'm going to add some gray, some dark colors to this. Now I'm going to use uh, my full squirrel um, half inch angle. So I wet it and I damp my brush on um, a paper towel. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up that uh, gray storm from the end here and just blend that paint on your palette. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of color to this. And I'm going to go on this side. And I also have um, these little mop brushes. I keep forgetting to bring some down. These mop brushes, they just um, soften up the little floats here. I'm going to just pick up a little bit more water. OK, I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, I'm gonna like this here is supposed to be like a little lid, so let's run this across. And then have our farm fresh, and then I'm gonna put a little lace and then or a jute string, and then it'll be a farm fresh. Okay, now I can do my little rooster. Okay, the rooster I have like berry red. You can use uh, whatever red you want. For the berry red, I have a uh, sunset gold for this little neck thing here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use that little uh, round that I had because it's a very small area. Just paint top part red. Just did the beak. Get the beak into yellow. Okay, I wanted to do this yellow and then blend a little bit of red in it. It's okay if I go over the line. I'm gonna do the rooster. I might do brown or black. I'm not really sure yet. 
Okay, I'm gonna dry that. Just add a little bit of red to it. So I used my brush and I picked up a little bit of red. Now I just want to go along the bottom part. Maybe around the beak so it's not so uh, just add a little bit of color. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over the yellow here. Okay, and I'm gonna take some lamp black. I'm gonna dab the eye. Dab the eye. And also I'm gonna paint my heart red here. Okay, let that dry. Do the bows red too while we're at it. Just paint this red. I use the bigger brush. Okay. It's a little bit brighter here. Yeah. Okay. Probably have to put another coat on the red. Okay. I want to put. Um, I'm going to use a quarter inch flat uh, wash from Black Gold Dynasty. With my brush, pick up some black. Let's go along the lines. That. All the way to the bottom, and then the tail, I want to add some color to the tail. Okay, just mess it up, and I'm going to try something. Okay, I'm gonna take um maybe a a bigger liner brush somewhere in here. Okay, this one is a number two round. So I just want to mix some. I'm gonna pick up some yellow, just go from the edge, and then just do some little commas. And then we're going to add some red in there too. I picked up some black. That's okay. Now pick up some red. I might go back and forth. I might add a little bit of the orange color too. I have a little tail there, and then I'm just going to dab some of this. Oh, 
too much water on my brush. Pick up some black and then just dab. The tail's not so. That's my tail. I have different little colors on it. I want to have my little heart. Good. You can go back and forth with the colors. Okay, I want to give another coat of red to this. And add some polka dots and some colors to this as well. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. This one's done. Okay, now I'm going to do uh, this here first. Okay, so these two here I was going to do with just um the black. So I'm gonna use my my foam. I'm gonna lay it flat when I pick up some paint and just pull on the edge there and this one here. Up. Okay, uh, for this, I'm going to use um, the sponge that we used earlier. I'm going to face coat this. I'm going to skip some color here. And a little bit of the grace, uh, grace dorm, and add some to this here. So my brush is a little watery from rinsing it off earlier, but that's okay. Okay, I don't want it overly too much. And then I'm going to pick up some of that orange color, which is the red spice. So I picked up a little bit. It look a little rusty. Have that. Okay. And then this here, I was just going to coat that one with the gray storm. I might need another coat. I add a little bit of orange in there. So I picked up a little bit of orange. Okay, and maybe I'll pick up a little bit of black on the edge there. Use the finger, dab it.
So when this goes there, and that, and I'm going to add, uh, send it down just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to, we're going to work on the, the little cows. So I'm going to move these. Just move the, make sure I move this up so you can see. Okay. I have, it's so cute. Okay. Now the horns, I was thinking of doing um, like a little burlap. I'm going to use the quarter inch. Okay. I'm I'm thinking of, oh, that's not a sprayish. Mm, that'll work. I'll use some um, burnt umber. I don't need to do the whole thing because the hair is going to go there. Um, I might add another coat though. Okay. I'm going to dry that and add another coat. And I'm also going to do the nose with that color as well. Do the nose. Okay, another coat. I'll we'll make sure I, I pass the lines where the other piece is going to go. Okay, I'm going to draw the nose and do that. Okay, I'm gonna dry that and I'm gonna add some um some brown to it. These are going to be pink. I got pink. I took a uh, wild berry. You can take whatever pink you have, or you can do them yellow as well. Okay. Paint the center uh, with brown. It's okay if I go over it. So I just went from that center out. This one's a very little one. Make sure I got the right side. I'm gonna put another coat on that, just to make it a little bit brighter. Let's see, I missed a spot already here. Another coat of the wild berry. These are super fast to do. Very quick projects. Okay. And this will be the face and the body. Okay. 
um, I'm going to add brown to some of this color here. Or, you know, I'm going to continue base coating and then we can do the, the colors softer. I'm going to do, um, oh, my heart. I'm going to do the, so I'm going to do the whole body with honey brown and then we're going to just add some color. And the hair might be uh, burlap as well. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, I have honey brown. If you don't have honey brown, you can use um, like raw sienna. It's a really like pretty light color. And then we're gonna do the inside of the ear. Okay, so I'm, I got a big brush. I don't know why I got a big brush. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I don't get the horns. It's a little base. Okay, so when I paint this, I only need to paint the body part and this part here. A lot of water in my brush. Face. I'm going to do the body. So I'm going to make sure I go high enough. And I'm going to dry that up. So this will be like that. Okay, I'm going to dry that and I'll give, I'll give another coat. A blob of paint in there. Just taking my time along the edge there so I don't get any of my white. Okay. Now I think I'm going to do this burlap. So I'm going to go back, like the color of the. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I changed my mind. 
Okay, I'm gonna do burlap. I will add a little bit of brown to it so it's not the same color as the horn and the Dry this up. And we'll add color to our stuff. Got a lot of water in my brush. Okay, dry this off. Okay, now we're ready to add some color. Those to a side, and I'm going to start. Okay, this one's done. Okay, my chicken. Um, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna just sand a little bit of the edges there. Do the same with my heart. You don't have to sand if you don't want to. If you like the the farmhouse look, that looks pretty good. And I wanted to add a little bit of dots to these. Okay, first I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna take my little brush. I, I picked up a little bit of brown, uh, I spilled them at the end and I blended my colors. So I wanna put a little bit of color along the, the bow part, the center. And I'm gonna do the same for here. Like it's not perfect. I just want to add a little bit of color. Okay, and then also just add some at the bottom and I'm going to add a little bit of white to the top. Okay, I'm going to add some dots. I'm going to add dots to these ones and maybe a, like little lines and I'm going to use the snow white. That'll give us a chance to I'm gonna I'm gonna add lines to this one. So I lightly loaded my brush. Up again. I'm not pressing pressing hard. So the lines can fade out if uh, when you do this. And it's not perfect, okay? Now when you do the center, do a line like a cross and then like an arch. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna sand it. And then for this, I'm just gonna lightly add some dots. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna let that dry. Okay, um, for this here, the milk can, before I forget, I'm gonna sand the edge a little bit. If you get in the center of it, that one might not see it. It'll be a okay. Now I'm gonna just move this aside for a second, okay? And I'm gonna sand the edge of the black here as well. 
And I'm going to try and get like in the center part. On the edge. Okay. And this one as well. Okay, um, my little flower, I want to put a little dot of, uh, I think I'm going to use, um, oh, you know what, I'm going to use the sunset gold to do the little center part. And then I'm going to let it dry and I'll sand that as well when it's dry. Okay, now for the nose, I'm going to take the my uh, angle brush. I'm going to pick up some um, asphaltum. And I'm going to blend. Like you're just blending the paint into the brush. Okay, now... Um, so I'm going to do the bottom part. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to add some color to this. It's very hard to hold sometimes when they're little. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the horn. I'm going to do the bottom. This just adds color. And my little horn. Did not have you can use um the traditional burnt sienna or you can use uh the spice red spice if you want. Um so I'm going to take this color and I'm going to pick up the, the traditional bird sienna and I want to add some color into the ear. So that's going to be a different color. So go along the little line that's in there, separating the inside of the ear. And for this one as well. Okay, I just want to see what this is going to look like again. Okay, so if I have the base here. Okay, for the hair, I'm thinking of picking up some of the asphaltum and I'm just going to go along the bottom part and it's messy. It's not going to be perfect. Same with here. Okay, and then what I want to do is maybe add like a little line messy line just to add a little bit of color so i lift up the edge i don't have a whole lot on it so it's kind of messy and then i'm going to add some white to that too So I'm going along the line. This one's a little smaller. Okay, 
use a smaller brush. Okay. I think I want to add a little bit more just down here. I had a piece of hair. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry and then I'll put some white. I'm going to take some burlap here and I'm going to put and put some on the ear for a little bit of highlight. So that's burlap. Okay, and then some white. Pick up a little bit of white, put some on the top of its horn here. And the hair is going to go in there. Um, okay, now I'm going to pick up some white. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of color on the hair part. And run it down the center. Like this is going to be messy. It's okay. I'm going to do the same. Right here, so I ran it all along the edge there. And put a little bit down the sides. Okay, when it's dry, I'm going to add a little bit of my burlap didn't on the ear didn't come out bright enough. Okay, no. Check how this goes. I need any more color. The hair's gonna go here. Oh, it's so cute. Um, the nose. Oh, let's add a little bit of highlight to the nose. So I'm gonna take some white there. Just run it across. And this would be nice. A little bit of white in here too. Just really messy. Just to add a little bit of color. Okay, I'm going to dry all this off and then sand some pieces there. Okay, I'm going to sand a little bit of the bow tie. Make sure your dots are dry. I'm going to do the same for the flowers. Make sure you don't press too hard. And you're sanding. This already did. Oh, this needs to get dry a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to sand a little bit here. So again, you don't have to if you don't want to sand. Do the face part. Okay. 
Um, okay, it's, I needed to check. Um, I should add some color underneath. I think it might be okay. Okay, I think we're ready to glue our little pieces together. Let me move these. Okay, I have um, glue here. I could not open my Gorilla Glue, so I have, um, it's all-purpose white glue. It's for wood, which works the same. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my palette. Whoop, whoop, that's a lot. That poured out, okay, and then I know I have some popsicle sticks somewhere. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do um, the welcome first. Okay, now what I do is I just grab some glue on the popsicle stick. I just put a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. And then you can see where it's going to sit, which is nice. This one, this glue here is a little bit more runnier than my uh, Gorilla glue. So I'm not putting it on thick. And it's okay if uh, the glue comes off the sides because it's gonna dry clear. I just push down a little bit on it and make sure that it's lined up. This one here, I have way too much glue that to come out. I'm just going to wipe a little bit. I got the one, and then again, I'm just going to double check, make sure it's all lined up. There's the lock on. I'll put that there, and then I'll do the moo. The moo's right here. A little harder to see from my background. Street. There's my move. Okay, I can work on. Oh, I need a little bit of um a string for that. I'm gonna get that right now. I forget. So I have, um, it's just a jute string, different size. I think I'm going to grab a thin edge. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put this on here. 
So I just need a little piece. And then what I do is just put it that through the loop there. And then I can cut the excess off after. Like that. So I don't forget. Okay. I'm going to do the word on there. I move this up so everybody can see. Okay, fresh. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue, you can glue this. You gotta make sure that you leave a edge for when you're putting it in the um, truck, okay? So you need to make a little edge. I can put it this way or this way. I might put it like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my little cow. Making it, lining it up, just down a little bit on it so it stays in place. Okay, the face. I love how it looks like a little puzzle. Oop. <laughs> Okay, I just want to make sure that this is okay. There. Okay, um, I'm going to glue the hair first. That way you'll, you'll know where to put the nose. Okay, the hair lines up with the top part here. the nose okay um i have a flower and i have a, okay the bow you can either put it um over here like here along with the flower or if you leave a long enough space it'd be okay i think hmm, hmm, i think it might be okay i think it might be okay if i leave it tight enough it might be it might fit inside my uh, insert and then i'm going to put the flower on on the top here Should be good. Um, okay, now I'll do the same for here. It's I'm gonna put the head on the sign. Make sure I have it on the right way. So it'll go like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the hair. Now the only thing I couldn't put the I can't put the bow down here, so 
me put the over here. Over here. Hmm. I might just put the flower over here. So I don't think I want the bow in that there. You can put it wherever you want. You don't have to. I'm just going to put that right here. There. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. Okay. Now this part here will go on here. Okay. So. Might be okay. Just want to check this out. Yeah. Make sure it's like in the center. Okay, and then put some along the edge. I let this dry um, overnight and then always spray your finish with um, a matte uh, spray varnish uh, so that your paint lasts uh, like a long time. And then for my truck, I added uh, magnets. Um, I did a video on adding the magnets. Like I uh, added the uh, like magnets in the back so that it sticks to the truck, and same with the license plate. Okay, and then the chicken. I'm gonna make sure it's up high, so I can put like that. I'm screaming in his ear. And there you go. So that'll go up here, there, and, and I have the extra little pieces. You can put either or, and that completes my little, uh, my camera's a little crooked. That completes my little um, uh, project. So I really hope you like this. I have more. Uh, videos on these surfaces if you're interested in going back um, again I'll have all the description down below and uh, thanks for joining <laughs>